A bird watcher was in a Louisiana swamp when he spotted this creature crying wretchedly in a tree. She'd set out for the swamp with the hope of seeing some rare birds. As she surveyed the scene though, she noticed something else entirely. This thing was stranded on a tree stump surrounded by water and it was crying for help. Clearly, she had to take action quickly. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey hit the USA with a vengeance, causing mass destruction to parts of the country. In fact, it caused the highest property damage of any tropical cyclone ever recorded. Considering this, Louisiana's capital city, Baton Rouge, got off fairly lightly. Although the city escaped the majority of the storm, it left recurrent rain in its wake for days. The downpours weren't too heavy though and the deluge certainly wasn't enough to deter outdoor hobbyists. One of those people was a woman called Chantel. Chantel and her husband are both enthusiastic bird watchers and the rain didn't dampen their passion. Indeed, the weather conditions were part of why Chantel was visiting a favorite birding spot in August of 2017. To be more specific, the area was a swamp in Louisiana. Chantel was curious to see what effects Hurricane Harvey had had on the birds in the nearby area. She thought there was a possibility it had caused some rare species to head for Louisiana. And while she didn't spot any uncommon birds, she did see something out of the ordinary. But Chantel heard the creature before she saw it. Its pitiful noises drew her attention and after a 20 minute search, she finally found the source of the commotion. The cries were coming from a Siamese cat. The poor creature had somehow got stranded out in the swamp. Consequently, Chantel had to do something, so she made a call to local animal shelter, Kara's house. Not only did she send in a report and location details, but she also included pictures of the cat. In turn, the shelter contacted animal rescuer, Randall Kolb, also known as the cat rescue guy. I was not sure how I was going to handle this rescue, Kolb wrote on his blog. The pictures I saw showed standing water in front of trees, but I could not see the backside and I had no idea how deep that water was. Kolb reasoned that the weather was indicative of how long the cat had been stranded. In fact, that particular area only became swampy in heavy rain. The cat was probably in the tree at least four days, possibly longer, he wrote. As a consequence, the cat was in desperate need of assistance. Kolb and his wife set out with what little water rescue gear they had and headed for the swamp. Despite the severe spread of the water though, it didn't take long to pin down the cat's rough location. And while Kolb and his wife could hear the cat's cries, they couldn't see it. The meows sounded like they were coming from everywhere and nowhere, while conditions made the search even harder. Finally, after a quarter of an hour and with the help of Kolb's binoculars, they struck gold. Since being photographed by Chantel, the kitty had moved on to a different location, but it was still stranded though. I suspect that the cat fell out of the tree into the water, Kolb explained. He probably climbed up on the stump after the bird watcher left. So now for the first time, I have a cat that's stuck in a tree only a few feet off the ground. On one hand, Kolb didn't have to climb a high tree. On the other hand, he had to wade through potentially dangerous water. I grabbed a stick to use for balance and to flick away any snakes, Kolb described, or to poke an alligator away from me. Armed with just that and a pet carrier, he made his way towards the hysterical crying cat. Now that I was close enough, I was especially impressed by his long fangs, Kolb wrote. The upper ones were exposed when his mouth was closed. It was a rather menacing look, though that doesn't show. As a result, Kolb nicknamed the cat Chomper, because he was clearly very stressed, Kolb said. But as I usually do for tree rescues, I offered him a can of food. Although the offer was turned down after some coaxing, the cat rescue guy lived up to his moniker. Thanks to Kolb's reassuring manner and cat whispering skills, Chomper tentatively climbed into the carrier, and the pair made their way to dry land. When they were back on the road, Chomper was taken to Kara's house, where he was checked for a microchip. It was revealed that Chomper's original name was Artemis, and that he'd been adopted from the SBCA in Georgia. Furthermore, the cat was estimated to be five or six years old. Unfortunately, though, all efforts to contact his owners were unsuccessful. In addition, there were no pets reported missing that matched his description. I'm always very slow to assume that a homeless cat has been dumped, Kolb explained, but that appears to be the most likely explanation in this case. Chomper was subsequently sent to Whiskers Animal Benevolent League Shelter in New York to wait for his forever home. There were still many unanswered questions about Chomper's origins. The complete story will probably always be a mystery, Kolb concluded. Regardless, Chomper's future is looking much brighter now and I'm sure he'll be adopted and given a loving home where he'll be valued and comfortable.
Share this video with your friends.